So you're really at the center of this disruptive media landscape, and you're right. growing very fast. Walk me through that a little bit. Yeah, so we actually launched in 2005, so 10 years ago this Congratulations. year. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, it was a different landscape, right? They weren't really sort of the levers to grow audiences really fast. And we launched as a discovery destination for really amazing independent designers and brands. And it was a completely different era. And the mission has expanded dramatically. A, women were the ones who really leaned in with the content, so we're finding 29 really became female first, and it became unapologetically about women. And then, of course, the scope had expanded tremendously from fashion and style into health, wellness, um, news and culture. And really, our mission now is to revolutionize what has sort of become women's media. Now, you tried e-commerce for a little bit, but moved away from that. Why was that not, not the right fit? Well, uh, as you know, there's sort of like there, there's a there's a lot of background and context with regards to content and commerce in in media. It's still a hot topic. Mm -hmm. um, for us, what we did, what we realized is that engagement in content was really where our sweet spot was. It, that's really where we accelerated, where we created great experiences. And so intent was really, really important. Facilitating the discovery of something that you can purchase was really important, but not necessarily getting someone to transact on Refiner29, which is really a different problem altogether. Right. So your revenues are north of 50 million. Um, yes. So what is driving that? Um, so this is obviously an incredible time in media. There's an inordinate amount of convergence happening in the space. You see the traditional media companies really putting their vote of confidence in digital media. There's been a lot of transactions and a lot of investments in this space. And so right now, digital media is really growing up in, in big and bold ways, so much so that the word digital might just cease to exist um, because it's really just becoming about a fully distributed media ecosystem. And for us, what's driven our success and what's allowed us to scale is that we've been very defined about owning one vertical, which has been women and building the most authentic, credible, daily destination for millions of women.